Hi, I'm Olivia Kuiper, and I am now a four and a half year breast cancer survivor. I um, was 48 years old, having a routine mammogram. Um, they called me a few days later and said, we need you to come back for a biopsy. And at that moment, I knew that I had breast cancer. There was no doubt in my mind. And sure enough, the biopsy results came back. I got them two days before Thanksgiving, found out I had breast cancer and it was in my right breast. My right breast was completely riddled with it. After the MRI, they wanted to do another biopsy of the left breast because they were concerned about some spaces there. And I sat down with my breast surgeon and I said, if we're gonna take one off, we're gonna take them both off. Um, I didn't want to run the risk of having breast cancer again. Um, thankfully, there was no cancer in my lymph nodes, so I did not have to have radiation. Um, because they removed all of my breast tissue, I also did not have to have chemotherapy. So I was very blessed in that regard. It was my breast surgeon who um, I worked with on just the mastectomy alone. And then I was referred to a plastic surgeon. Um, the, so it was, a, it was a team surgery, plastic surgery and, um, and the breast surgeon. And the plastic surgeon would have just closed everything up um, had I not done reconstruction. And we talked a lot about whether to do um, reconstruction or whether to just do nothing. And the type of reconstruction that we would do, whether we would do deep flap or if we would do um, um, using implants. And um, partly due to my age, partly due to my weight, um, he felt the best option for me was to do the expanders and then do the permanent implants, silicone implants afterwards. January 2019, I um, had my double mastectomy. Um, I was in E-cup prior to my surgery. I woke up from surgery with expanders in and went from an E-cup to a double A-cup. When I woke up from surgery, one of the most feminine parts of my body had been removed. And I realized that Although, yes, I was going to survive, this is a pretty vital part of being a woman to me. I went through the expansion process. Um, by May, I was pretty comfortable with the size that I was, and so we stopped there. And then in July, I had the permanent implants put in. I was really fortunate to work with another one of his partners, who is um, both plastic surgery and vascular surgery certified and um, we went back in and did some fat grafting and a um, little bit of shaping, better shaping of the breasts and, and I just felt like they really guided me and really were concerned about what would be the best option for me. It's hard on the body. Um, but I don't regret it. I don't regret my implants. I don't regret the choice that I made. Um, and I'm grateful that there are options for women who go through breast cancer who um, are healthy and younger and that they can have reconstruction. And because of those options, I could have reconstructions. I'm grateful for my plastic surgeons, to other women who are going through breast cancer, who are given the option of reconstruction, I would, I would highly recommend it. I mean, work with your surgeons, work with your doctors, um, make sure you're educated. That was really important to me, was to be educated and to understand what the whole process was. And I wanted to be able to present to anybody else that came along. I'm, I'm big on education. I wanted to be able to give them information. So for me, it was really important to get as much information as I could. So educate yourself. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely make sure that the plastic surgeon you're working with is a board certified plastic surgeon and that they have some good experience and they can give you hey, this is what we've done, even pictures. And I was shown pictures, I was shown, you know, I was kind of shown a little computer image of what the surgery would be like. And I felt really, really blessed, uh, again, to be with the medical team I was with. And, but I would absolutely recommend reconstruction if you're healthy enough for it, then that's a choice for you. Almost four years in now with my implants and gravity is pulling them down and they look very natural and normal to me and I'm really happy with them.